Jan Shikhan. And Chris Dittmar, number three seed, was known to have a chance of finally making a breakthrough against the mighty Jahanga Khan. We join the match in the final stage of the first set. Chris Dittmar has made a marvellous start to this first game. He's totally outplayed Jahangir, and at his best, he's capable of doing that to anybody in the world. That was good. So, that was good. Hand out. So, marvellous forehand volley by Jahangir, but Chris Dittmar still in the driving seat. Jahangir Khan, thought by many to be. Slightly underprepared for this tournament. That could be decisive in the final analysis against a player of Chris Dittmar's status. Lovely drop shot, good control and touch. 9-14. So Chris Dittmar has never beaten Jahangir before and stands at game ball in the first game. So that's it. Chris Dittmar yeah, takes the five, first game eight, by 15-9. And that rounds off some excellent play. Chris Dittmar, who has been in good form recently, winning the Australian and New Zealand Opens, and comes to this enormous match with Jahangir Khan, one which he desperately needs to win. The seesaw battle continued, with both players hitting purple patches of inspired squash. Dittmar led 15-9, 12-15, 15-9. After three gruelling sets, we rejoin the match with Jahinga winning the point on his serve in the fourth game. So, penalty stroke to Jahangir Khan. Chris Dittmar crowding in on him there when he could have played a winning stroke. And that isn't allowed, and the referee rightly giving the stroke decision. So Jahangir Khan afford to give anything away because one chance and Chris Dittmar will be back at him. Oh, that's a great forehand volley. And the crowd thought it was a winner. But the referee said Chris Dittmar would have got to it. So. Play it, please. <coughs> Trying to call the crowd to order. The players desperately need quiet for the concentration. They are now. Still game ball to Jahangir. Oh, that's a brilliant volley for Jahangir Khan, who hasn't had his busiest season. He lost to Janshir Khan in Monte Carlo, but still manages to retain his world number one spot. Now at two games all, they face the decisive game. We pick up the action with them neck and neck at five all. Chris Dittmar then will have to make yes, lad. a big use yes, of lad. his heavy artillery. Well capable of hitting nicks from all over the court. But he needs good basic game, good length into the back corners so that he can create those situations. Jahangir on the other hand will be looking for similar length like that. Chris Dittmar not able to get it out, hit the nick and died. Six, five. Jahangir will be looking to try and exploit what he believes is Chris Dittmar's weakness. The fact that he's a big man and finds long matches hard to endure. Chris Dittmar has trained harder for this match than ever before, but don't forget he's never ever beaten Jahangir Khan. in a fifth set in a world title semi-final match. No lap. And that's a great no forehand lap. volley drop from Hand Jahangir down. Khan and Chris Nine. Dittmar this time, showing that he's a bit heavy-legged. Tension building up. Proverbial knot in the stomach. 
Both players here could get to a point of almost sudden death at the end if it isn't decided by yes, a yes, burst lad. of winners from one or other Nine, player. Eight. And the American scoring system obviously adding to that sudden death. Point is scored at the successful conclusion of each rally. Good for the entertainment value. It certainly helps the crowd. Good for the players, create something of a knife edge. Oh, it's good. Mystic Mar. Mystic Mar just checking with the referee there to see if the ball was okay. And uh, that was a great winner from Jahangir. Yes, lad. 10 yes. 8 to Jihenge. Yes, and Ten, eight. quite a normal let. Just a traffic problem moving to that forehand front corner. Perhaps Jenge slightly in the way. That's a beautiful cross court nick from Chris Dittmar. Very bold. Off the service, and not too many players will be risking that at this stage in the fifth game. But then Chris Dittmar has been very confident and in excellent form. And just the disguise there. Playing the angle very low. Jahengia late to read it. Couldn't quite make it. 10 all. So Chris Dittmar's back on equal terms at 10 all. Now who's going to make the burst to run home for the game? 10 all. Five points to claim. And a place in the final. Hand out. 11, 10. Quite often at this stage in a match, it's all long rallies, but the players seem here very anxious. They're wanting winners, they're wanting it over quickly. Certainly no attritional work here. Only the occasional symptom of weariness in the play. Both players still rallying at full pace. Just now and again, like that. The referee saw Chris Dittmar move off the mark very late. And was saying you wouldn't have got to that one. Jahangir played a very controlled drop shot in the front part of the court. 12-10, so it's Jahangir that's moving closer to his place in the final. Two points advantage over Chris Dittmar. Yes, lad. Oh, yes, lad. That forehand drop 12, shot, not quite 10. as dead. From the right. And it's typical that when the games get tight, the points get close, quite often the players find it more difficult to get round their opponent. And therefore, there's often a little bit of disruption through let decisions. Obviously, nerve is playing. Nerves are playing some part in that. Yes, lad. So yes. throughout in this rally, Jahangir retrieved well and re-established himself. That's well up, but he slipped in the process, and that's down. Well. That rally went both ways, but in the end, it was Jahangir who made the error. 13, 12, from the right. I have a feeling that this might just be Chris Dittmar's day. On the right. Maybe even his first ever win against right, Jahangir Khan. So here we see it in slow motion. Beautiful control in the drop shot from Chris Dittmar, forcing Jahangir wide to retrieve it, and a desperate scurry across the court to play the angle. Another drop shot from Chris Dittmar, and Jahengi is at full stretch again, but just chips it down that side wall to Chris Dittmar's forehand. And here we see Jahengi has got back into the rally. Chris Dittmar lobbing it high over his head, wide of the volley. And another drop shot from Chris, but not very accurate. Jahengi driving it to Chris Dittmar's 
Forehand side. Chris having to boast high. Setting up a, a drop shot from Jahengir. Lovely retrieving from Chris Dittmar. Slipped in the retrieving and lobbed it high, forcing the error from Jahengir Khan. And that's an excellent rally from Chris Dittmar. Took the offensive, forced Jahengir to do a lot of retrieving and eventually got the error. And that's two errors out of Jahengir and it's not yes, like left. him. Yes, Characteristically, he's so consistent. Bro. So, let ball. Again, just taking the tension out of the moment. Both players trying to compose themselves. This absolutely critical phase of this match. Placing the final at stake, don't forget. Lovely control, glued it to the wall. And Chris Dittmar got it on the wall as well. Again. And that's a good shot by Jahangir Khan. And that's a beautiful shot after that back wall boast. Jahangir had the opportunity to play the backhand cross court nick dead, and that's what happened. Hand out. 13 all. Jahangir Khan with service now. Quiet, please. What will happen? 13 all, two points from either player would yes, be enough yes, to left. ensure the final place. Hand out. 13 all. Jahangir Khan with service now. Quiet, please. What will happen? 13 all, two points from either player would yes, be enough. Left. To let ensure the final place. All. 13 all, let ball. Jengir again wiping his hand. It'll take great nerve now to finish this with winners. Both players happy to rally, wait for an opportunity or an error. Yes, left. No, the ball was up. <laughs> I think that was wishful thinking on Chris Dittmar's part. Desperately keen to see another point in his bag, setting up the match for him. Jengi Khan still with service. Well, that's a truly amazing shot. Chris Dittmar closed his eyes and just hit that into the nick. And it was flat. You have to take that kind of risk against a player of Jahangir Khan's calibre if you're going to win these sort of matches. This is the closest he's ever been. He just needs one more piece of magic. And that's it! Chris Dittmar's done it. Beats Jahangir Khan by 15-13 in the fifth and final.